Hey students, this is second video on the curve cycloid. If you have not watched my first video, watch that first and then come to this video. In this video, we are going to solve some more problems on cycloid. Be ready with your sketchbook and drawing instruments and just follow the construction I'm explaining you. A circle of diameter 40 mm rolls without slipping on a fixed horizontal line. Press path of a point on the circumference of the circle. Take initial position of the point at the top of the rolling circle. First draw horizontal vertical center lines and locate the center. Radius of the circle is 20 mm. Use that radius and draw a circle. Divide that circle in 8 parts as I have told you in the last problem. Now draw the guiding line. Check what is the direction of rotation. Initial position of center is C0. We are drawing path of the point which is highest point on the circle initially. So this is initial position 0 and then you label in clockwise order all 8 points on the circle. So this is how we have labeled 8 points on the circle. So initial position of the point is the 0th position. And after one complete revolution, final position is 8th position will be again the highest point. But of course, after one complete revolution, the point will be somewhere here at distance, horizontal distance pi d. And that is why measure length pi d on the guiding line. Divide that length pi d in 8 parts. So how to divide that? First of all, mark 8 divisions on this inclined line. Follow the procedure. Actually draw this curve. Pause the video. Keep this video in front of you and start a drawing. Unless you draw, you will not able to remember the procedure. And in the exam, you are actually going to draw these curves. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. 8 divisions we have marked here on this inclined line. Now this last division, you connect with the end point of distance pi d and draw parallel lines to get 8 points on the horizontal line. Now label these points. 1, 2, now watch here, these are the points, positions of the circle. Initially circle is in contact with the ground here. And then this is first position of the circle, this is second position of the circle. And this is how you label those 8 points. Now extend the center line and transfer all these 8 points vertically on the center line. And that is actually eight positions of the centers. So label those eight positions of the center. Now, do you remember the procedure further? From these eight points on the circle, draw lines parallel to the guiding lines. So use a roller of course, set roller with this horizontal, first horizontal line and roll up and down to draw horizontal lines through all these eight points are marked on the circle. All dimensions are in millimeter, but insert dimensions after completing the drawing. Now, take radius in compass. Remember, this is the initial position. And in this case, first point is on the right side of centers. Note it, it's very important. So take radius in compass and from center, you cut the first line, but on the right side not on this side, on the right side. From C2, you cut the second line. From C3, you cut the third line. From C4, you cut the fourth line. Check here, P4. We have divided the entire distance pi d in eight parts. That means in fourth position, that is after half a revolution, this point P will come in contact with the line, the horizontal line or guiding line. Now from C5, 
you cut the fifth line watch here this horizontal line is a fifth line note here fifth point is on the left side of center fifth point is on the left side of the center and therefore from c5 you cut on the left side i have seen many student getting confused they cut on somewhere here on this side that is mistake check here point number 5 is on the left side of center so on the left side of center c5 you cut that horizontal line from c6 cut from c7 cut seventh line from c8 cut eighth line and that will be the highest position now remember you know that initial position is the highest position the final position is of course the highest position now when you draw this arc theoretically or you can say if your construction is a perfect then this arc should touch this highest horizontal line but of course we are drawing manually you will be drawing manually there will be constructional errors and therefore this line may not touch this horizontal line so to get point p8 you can extend this line so that you will get p8 now all these points p0 p1 p2 p3 p4 etc you join by smooth curve to get the required cycloid so this is the curve cycloid now insert all dimensions and we have completed the drawing simple take care of line work circle in its initial position must be thick in the sense you should draw it with thick lines then length pi d the horizontal guiding line must be thick and the curve itself must be thick if you are asked to draw normal and tangent then normal and tangent must be thick and all other lines must be thin lines thank you for watching my video hope you have liked the video and if yes share the video with your friends subscribe my channel and if you have any doubt let me know below in the comments so bye bye